the earth does fall down. In fact, the earth is constantly falling down. It is a good thing too because that is what keeps the earth from flying out of the solar system under its own momentum. The earth and everything on earth is constantly falling towards the sun because of the sun's immense gravity. This statement is not a metaphor or a play on words. The earth is literally falling towards the sun under its immense gravity. So why don't we hit the sun and burn up? Fortunately for us, the earth has a lot of sideways momentum. Because of this sideways momentum, the earth is continually falling towards the sun and missing it. All gravitational orbits are actually cases of falling and missing. Astronauts on the International Space Station are not in a no-gravity environment. They are surrounded by the Earth's and the Sun's immense gravity. More correctly, the astronauts are in a state of free fall. Astronauts in orbit are constantly falling towards the Earth and missing it. If the Earth was not falling towards the Sun, it will fly wildly out of orbit under its own inertia. The falling trajectory of the Earth around the Sun combined with Earth's tilt is what causes the different seasons. All the planets in our solar system are falling around the Sun but have enough speed to not hit it. Why are there no objects that do fall right under the Sun? There were such objects. Once they fall into the sun, they burn up and become part of the sun. Our solar system is so old that all rocks and dust clouds without enough speed to miss the sun have long since burned up in the sun. All objects in the universe are constantly falling. You fall to the earth every time you jump. You, the earth and the sun are constantly falling under the center of the galaxy. Why don't you feel all this falling motion? We do experience all this falling, we just don't notice it. The sun is so far away compared to humans that a falling motion around the sun is very close to a constant speed in a straight line. Interestingly, you can't feel a constant speed in a straight line. Similarly, the galactic center is so far away that a falling motion around the galactic center is very close to a constant speed in a straight line. Our actual trajectory around the galactic center is curved but the curve is so huge that it is essentially straight on human skills. Thank you for watching, kindly like and subscribe to this channel.